Hi there. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Can everyone see me and hear me okay? Yeah. Nice that you're there again watching. I look a bit cloudy or is it my glass? I just got to clean the lens. Or is it my glasses? I think my glasses need cleaning. Everything's gone fuzzy. Are you there? Is, it, is that how you always look? Do you always look fuzzy or is it my glasses need cleaning? I think it's my glasses. So who have I got? I've got Amelia. Good morning. And Akasha. Good morning. Valentina and Carolina. Good morning. And to all you other guys that are watching, but you're not able to do any comments. So I don't know your names, but I know you're there. So a big good morning to you as well. OK. Who have I got on my lap? Did you see? Can you see the top of their head? I think they're trying to wave. Hello, I'm down here. Who's that? You know who that could be? DJ Shimmy. Good morning, boys and girls. Did you have a good night? Did you go to bed when your mummies and daddy said, go to bed? What did you say? No, I don't want to go to bed. I want to sit up and play and jump on the bed like the monkeys do in that song. <laughs> Shall we get on with the good morning song? You ready to do the good morning song? Ah, oh, Alex. Good morning, Alex. Tina. Tina's there. Good morning. You're with your daughter, Savvy. Is that Savvy? Did I say that correctly? Hello, Savvy. That's a lovely name. I like that name. That's a nice name. We're going to do the good morning song. You went to bed. You went to bed last night, did you, Alex? You have sweet dreams, dulce sueños in Spanish. <laughs> Hope you had nice dreams. Are you going to do the good morning song with me? Can I see your hands? Like, look, DJ Shimmy's ready. I'm ready. I'm waiting. Oh, oh, I have to press the big red button, don't I? Yes, you do. I'm so glad that you remembered. DJ Shimmy's going to get the music ready and we're going to do the good morning song. Most of you know it already, don't you? We sing it every morning. Hello, how are you? And what are you going to say? Are you going to say, oh, I'm feeling terrible. Thank you. Are you feeling terrible? You're feeling fine. You're going to say, I'm fine. Thank you. OK, so DJ Shimmy, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start singing with you guys. Are you ready? Can I see your hands? Let's see your hands. We're going to say, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? Can I hear you say that you're fine? If you are fine, let's listen. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Button. Oh, they saw it. You go and stop the music. Yeah, good boy. Well done. <laughs> so that was our good morning song. We have got some trivia, a few jokes and the flags. We're going to learn our flags. And do you remember we had a new game called, what was it called? Double or double. We're going to play this game in a moment. I'm going to start with some flags. Shall I start with some flags? And a tongue twister. We're going to do a tongue twister. <laughs> After we've done some flags. This time we're going to jump on an aeroplane in our imaginations. And we're going to go all the way to Africa. And we're going to go to these countries. They don't look the same, do they? Don't look nothing like each other. They look very similar. <laughs> Do you know what country this could be in Africa? It's in West Africa. This one is as well. It's in West Africa and it begins with an M. Not sure if you know this country. Some of you might know. It's pink. I've just seen um, Alex's question saying it's pink. Well, it's a statement. It's not a question, really. It's a statement. Alex, what is pink? An elephant. A pink elephant. You can see a pink elephant. <gasps> what can you see that's pink, Alex? <gasps> How did you know that, Amelia? Amelia knows. Ah, oh, and Valentina and Carolina know as well. How did you guys know that one? Have you been there before? It is Marley. For those that didn't know, now you do. 
It's a country called Mali in West Africa. I don't know if you can see a picture here. There's a map of Africa and there is Mali at the top there. And that country is Mali. So if that is Mali, what could this one be? It begins with a G. It's also in West Africa. What country could that be? They do look the same, don't they? What if I turned it? Oh, oh I better not do that. Then they're exactly the same. Oh. This one begins with a G. And it's also the name of a little furry animal. A G, something pig. Mum has lived in Ghana when she was younger. Ah, that's why you knew. And Anakasha says Gabon. That's not Gabon. It's not Ghana. <gasps> Some of you guys got it right. Did I give you the clue when I said something about the pig? The G pig, Guinea pig. Do you know there's a country called Guinea? It's a country in Africa called Guinea. And a lot of you got that right. Well done, well done, because these are hard ones. I don't want to give you easy peasy lemon squeezy ones. I want to give you difficult ones to get you learning. That one is Guinea. So how can we, we remember which is which? Do you have a way to remember? Some of you might have a way to remember which one is which. This is my way to remember. For Marley, I think of a famous singer called Bob Marley. You might know Bob Marley. And in my mind, I say, mm, what would Bob Marley's favourite colour be? It would be green. So when I see Marley, I think of Bob Marley's favourite colour, green. And his flag, the flag there starts with green. Then it's yellow and red. So what? how would I remember this one? Guinea. I would think of a guinea pig. And his favourite colour would be red. And then I would know red comes first. So if I got confused and mixed up the cards, I'd say, oh, which is which? Um, Green, green. That was Bob Marley's favourite colour. So that's Marley. And it's green there. It starts with the green, then it's yellow and red. So this one, oh, the guinea pigs, the guinea pigs first. Their favourite colour was red. Then I would know that is guinea. Does that make sense? <laughs> Think of your own way to remember which is which, okay? Papua New Guinea. The Papua New Guinea is different. That wasn't Papua New Guinea. I'll have to find Papua New Guinea's one. I think that's got a bird on their flag and looks very different. I'll try and fish that one out tomorrow. So wait, tomorrow, I'm going to give you a quick clue. These are the ones we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> they look very similar as well. We're going to do these two tomorrow. So if you can remember what these two look like, quickly look them up and tomorrow you will know the answer if you don't know it now these two tomorrow. They're in Africa as well. Yeah, we're traveling all the way to Africa. Free vacation. Shall I do the tongue twister now? Is your tongue all loosened up? Can you go, Bleh. your tongue loosened up for the tongue twister? Yeah? You ready for a tongue twister? This is the one we did yesterday. This was an easy peasy lemon squeezy tongue twister we did yesterday. Books. Alex says books. Which books? you got books with all the flags in. Is it that book? Yeah, yeah. You, you like learning. That is great. You, you've learned so many things. I learned so much from you, Alex. I really do. This was yesterday's one. Flash message, flash message, flash message. So today I thought, oh, that one's a bit hard. So let's do an easy one today. Really, really easy, easy, easy. <gasps> That's not easy. <gasps> what does it say? It says good blood. Bad blood. Does that even mean anything? But this is a tongue twister. Good blood, bad blood. And I want you to say as fast as you can 10 times and you're not allowed to say good blah 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 because that does not make sense, okay? So go. And were you able to say it without sounding like a baby learning how to speak? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm sure you were able to say that, wasn't you? Yeah? Wasn't it difficult. I have to do harder ones, won't I? <laughs> I've got three questions for you. I was going to say easy questions, but I don't know if they're easy. <laughs> let's see. Some of them I did not even know myself. So let's see if you guys know, because you guys are, are clever. I know you're, you're clever little dicky birds, aren't you? This is about male and female, male and female animals. 
So which one would be the lady animal? Which one would be the man animal? For example, question number one. What is the male equivalent of a cow? If you had a cow, it would be a female. What would the male one be called? If you had a man cow, hello, I'm a man cow. Do you know what I'm called? What would a man cow be called? Hmm. Is it a tricky one? You got your thinking caps on. You're thinking like this. Oh, oh, I've no idea. No idea at all. Oh, 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 I can't think. Oh. Let's see if anyone knows. You don't know what, what a male cow would be called. Yes. <gasps> oh, it's all coming in now. Oh, and Alex has told me in Catalan, Toro. Toro. And in Castellano, Toro. Toro, Toro. And in English, it would be called a, yeah, you guys got that right. Yeah. Oh, that was too easy. A bull. A bull. Yeah, if you see a bull, it is a male cow. Male cow is called a bull. <laughs> so a female horse, a female horse is a mare. Did you know that? Female horse is called a mare. And at night, it's called a nightmare. No, it's not. It's still called a mare at night time. So a female horse is a mare. What is a male horse called? If you had a horse and it says, hello, I'm a man, what would it be called? It's a word that begins with an S. Yeah, have I got you thinking? A male horse. It begins with an S, a stall. Ah, you don't know. I'm sure you know. Come on, Alex and Akasha. I know you guys know Valentina, Carolina and anyone else who is watching. <gasps> yes, you got that right. Was that Amelia? Amelia got that right. Well done. It was Amelia your name? Amelia. Well done to you and to you guys that are shouting it out at home and I can't hear you and you got it right. Well done. It's called a stallion. A male horse is called a stallion. Yeah, you remember now? And what about a female fox? A female fox, what would she be called? Would she be called Elizabeth? She might be called Elizabeth, but there's a special name that a female fox is called. Begins with a V. What is it? Let's see if anyone knows. Are you not allowed to Google it quickly? No. Don't worry if you don't know. Volpe. Volpe. Is that in Italian? That might be in Italian. And Akashi, you were Italian, wasn't you? I think that might be. Oh, no. Wait, what have we got here? In Catalan, a male caval is called a caval. What? A male horse is called a caval. <laughs> Tina, well done. Ah, Italian. Yeah, you got that right in Italian, a volpe. I'm sure this is what it is in English if I say vixen. Vixen. Is that a volpe? Oh, I'm learning Italian. Woohoo! A female fox is called a vixen. Yeah? For those that didn't know, now you do. <laughs> For those that already knew, ah, good. So here's a fact. A male deer is called a stag. A male deer is called a stag. A male rabbit, I didn't know this one. A male rabbit is called a buck. B-U-C-K. A male rabbit, a buck. A male goose, honk, honk, is called a gander. Did you know a male goose was called a gander? You know the nursery rhyme? Goosey, goosey, gander, where shall I wander? It's called a gander. And can you think, here's something you can do later on. Can you think of any other animal names for the male and females of different types of animals? You think of any other male and female, male and female names of animals? For example, a male cat. What would a male cat be called? Do you know that? A male cat, what would it be called? Hmm. Hercules? No, it will be called a tomcat. I know most of you might have known that one. 
And here's one I didn't know. A female cat. What would a female cat be called? I always called it. Didn't know a female cat had a name. It would be called a queen. Did you know that? Some of you might know now. I did not know that female cat is called a queen. My cats are queens anyway. But I didn't know that's what they're officially called. So you think of some more. What about a male chicken? What is a male chicken called? A male chicken is called a cockerel or a rooster if you if you speak American English. And a female chicken is called the hen. Yeah. Yeah, you got that right. Rooster, rooster. Yes. So you guys think of some more. What about male and female sheets? They have different names too, but I'm not going to tell you. You find that one out yourself. Babula is a queen. Who is Babula? Alex, who is Babula? I would love to know who Babula is. Who's Babula? Does anyone know who Babula Alex, but Babula is a queen. I don't know that. <laughs> So here's some tips for boredom. If you say what you're going to say later when there's nothing to do and you've done everything, you cannot think of anything else you're going to say. I'm bored. <gasps> Are you bored? This is what you can do if you do get bored. You, if you happen to have some pebbles handy, like me, who's a kleptomaniac, I've got some pebbles. You can paint on your pebbles, paint a pretty picture on your pebbles. You can use colored pencils or crayons, or if you've got some paints, just paint a nice design on there, a flower, a ladybird, or just color the whole pebble a different color. And if you haven't got pebbles, in the description, I have a link on how you can make your own things out of dough, salt dough. Has anyone ever made salt dough ornaments before? You get lots of flour, you put salt in it and water, mix it together, and then you form a shape of what you want to make. You could even make pebble shapes or anything. And in the link, it's for how to make hand shape, to make a nice keepsake hand shape, hand print. And then you can paint it after. It looks very nice. If you fancy doing that, just look in the description and I have a link there. And if you don't want to do any of those, how about looking for an old book that you've forgotten all about? You go and look in your bookshelf or wherever you keep your books and look for a book that you've forgotten all about. It's like, oh, I don't remember I had this book. Oh, I'm going to read it. And you read a book that you haven't read for a long time or get someone to read it for you if, if you don't know how to read yourself. OK, those are just a few tips for boredom. But you don't get bored, do you? Hope not. Um, A joke. Oh, why didn't you remind me to do a joke? Hmm. Would you like to hear a joke? Why do sharks, did you say no? You don't want to hear a joke. Oh, who wants to hear it? Oh, you do. Oh, he said no. <laughs> Why do sharks swim in salt water? I don't know. Why do sharks swim in salt water? Do any of you know? And I have to play the game doubly. Almost forgot that. Why do sharks swim in salt water? Amelia has made salt dough roses for St. Geordi. Oh, well done, Amelia. Oh, that is so nice. And you painted them. Are they finished? You've already made them. When did you make those? Just recently? Or was that another, another um, last year or some other time? Babola is a queen. Oh, just reading Alex's answer. Now I know what a babula is. It's a queen. In which language? In which language is babula? Because they swim in the sea? Mm, no. Why do sharks swim in salt water? Because pepper water would make them sneeze. Uh, chew. They can't swim in pepper water, can they? So they have to swim in salt water. Terrible joke. Was that terrible? It was a terrible joke, wasn't it? Let's quickly play doubly, <laughs> moving swiftly along. Do you remember this game? I'm going to show you two cards like this. And there's something on this card and this card that is exactly the same. And you have to find out which object is on both cards. Are you ready? Do you have to get nearer to the screen? I'm going to show you and count to five, then I'm going to take them away. One. Two, three, four, five. 
Did you see what object was on both of my cards? Let's see. Babola is a cat, a kitten. Yeah, but which language? <laughs> what language is that? Is that English? Is a cat called Babola in English and no one told me? In all these years, I thought it was called a kitty cat. <gasps> yeah, you all saw that one. <laughs> did you see what was the same? You did, didn't you? That one's easy. Sunglasses. There's the sunglasses. And there are the sunglasses. Well done. We're going to do one more. Are you ready? You're looking. Yeah, you got your eyes closed. If you got your eyes closed, open your eyes. Boo. One. Two. Three, four, five. Did you see what was the same on both cards? Yeah, Valentina got that sunglass. Ah, oh, Savvy said it was a ladybird and the leaf on this one. It was on this one, it was the sunglasses. You have to see what is exactly the same on both cards. It's a bit tricky for the younger ones. It's a bit tricky. Did you see what was the same on these two? Oh, did you see? <gasps> yeah, you saw. <laughs> you saw. To tell the truth with me, because I looked before at these cars, it took me ages to find out. I could not see. I was thinking there's nothing the same on these two cards. There isn't. There isn't. There. Oh, there is. And then I saw. Did you, Elsie? Who, who else saw? Yeah, you did. You did see. It was the music symbol. You have got very good eyes, Anna Kasha. This one and this one, they're the same, aren't they? Yeah. Look, the, cat, the cat's not on here. The cheese isn't on here. It's only the music note, which is the same on both cards. Hmm. This is a nice game. I like that game. I like playing it with actual children around me we can play together but this way also kind of works doesn't it are you ready for the story yeah you got that right now um valentina carolina the music symbol or the music note i'm gonna do you remember the name of the story what story did i say i was gonna read did i say i'm gonna read if you give a mouse a cookie if you give a mouse a pebble what was the name of the stories it's about pebbles if you don't know what pebbles are pebbles are these Beach stones, stones you can find at the beach. It was called Peter's Pebbles. We're going to find out what happens to Peter's Pebbles. I think they're magic pebbles. Yeah, you ready for the story? Valenka and Akasha, but yes, come on, Sherry, stop talking. Give us a story. Here is a story about Peter's Pebbles. There he is, there's Peter. You see, he's painted all these beautiful pebbles. They look like animals, don't they? And they were pebbles. Peter loved collecting pebbles. It's a bit like me. Large ones, small ones, thin ones, fat ones, round ones, flat ones. That's a lot of pebbles. He painted his pebbles to look like all sorts of different animals. You see what animals he's painted? Which one do you like best? I think I like the crocodile one best. And what's he doing there? <gasps> oh, let's see what happened there. One day, as Peter was putting his newly painted fish pebble on the shelf, he slipped and the pebble sploshed into his fish bowl. Can you see the pebble? He painted this fish one and it fell into the fish bowl with the other fish. <gasps> Whoa! What happened there? Suddenly, there was a flash of light and a bubble and a fizz. Peter jumped back and saw a new colourful fish swimming around the fishbowl. Peter's pebble had come to life. <gasps> Whoa! Look what happened to my pebble. It became a real fish. That was a magic pebble. Wow, if my fish pebble came to life in water, maybe my parrot pebble will come to life in the air, Peter thought excitedly. Peter opened his window and threw his parrot pebble out into the air. 
Squawk! <gasps> With a swish and a swoop, Peter's pebble came to life. Look what happened to his parrot pebble. Goodness gracious me. Peter then picked up his monkey pebble. Mmm, monkeys like bananas, he thought. So he put the pebble into the fruit bowl. Can you see where he's putting it? In the fruit bowl. What's going to happen there? In an instant, the fruit exploded. Boom! Everywhere. And then ooh, 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 ah, the monkey was in the kitchen. There's a monkey in the kitchen now. Look, the monkey came to life. A real monkey. Wow. Next, Peter took his crocodile pebble into the bathroom. He filled the bath full of water and dropped in the pebble. There was a bubble and a splash and Peter couldn't believe his eyes when a huge crocodile appeared in the bath. PC is going to put the pebble in the bath. And snap, snap, snap. <gasps> it turned into a real crocodile in the bubble bath. <laughs> Back in his bedroom, Peter showed the animals his map and pointed out where in the world they normally lived. Now he's telling them where they lived. So you come here from South America. Maybe some of you live here in Africa. And he's telling them where they live on his map. Just then, Peter's mum called, Peter, your dinner is ready. Oh, shh, wait here, Peter said to the animals. His mum is calling him for dinner. And he's telling the animals to be quiet. Shh, I'm just going to go downstairs and have my dinner, OK? You stay here and be good. While Peter was downstairs, the monkey picked up the rest of Peter's painted pebbles and placed them on the map where Peter had said they lived. Can you see where he's putting them? He's put the panda. Where did he put the panda? What country is that? He put them in China. He put the panda in China. He's putting the giraffe in Africa. He's putting all the animals in the places where they live on the map. Suddenly, Peter could hear an almighty commotion coming from upstairs. Oh, there's a lot of noise upstairs. I wonder what's happening upstairs. Luckily, mum and dad were too busy talking to notice. Whew. Quickly, Peter finished his food and raced back to his bedroom. You can hear all the animals making noise. He's thinking, oh, what's going on upstairs? What, what could have happened up there? So he's going to run upstairs and have a look. <gasps> Peter gasped when he saw that all of his painted pebbles had come to life. Oh, all the pebbles have come to life. Look, they're real animals now, all of them. I'll get in trouble if you stay here. I need to find a place for you all to live. Can they stay in his bedroom? They can't, can they? He's gonna find somewhere for them to live. Wonder where, where could they live? Can they come and live at your house? Have you got room for? For the elephant and the zebra and the kangaroo and the leopard and the panda and the crocodile. Have you got room? Maybe under your bed? <laughs> then Peter had an idea. Oh, they don't have to come and live at your house. Peter's had an idea. Oh, that was good. He ran to his cupboard and pulled out a huge pebble. He had been saving it. He hadn't known what to paint until now. Oh, look, he's found this pebble. Can you see? He's found a special shaped pebble. He's going to do something with that pebble. I wonder what he's going to do with that one. It's also the one on the front cover, I think. I think it's this one. That's the day he found it. And he had it all that time. He's thinking, what can I do with this pebble? And suddenly he knows what to do with the pebble. What's he going to do with it? Peter waited until everyone was asleep and then led the animals quietly out of the house and down to the beach. They're going to the beach. Where could they be going? To the beach and then what? What's going to happen on the beach? Peter climbed into his boat and together he and the animals swam, rode and flew out into the ocean. Look, they're all in the boat. Oh, what's he doing there? 
Why is he throwing this pebble into the water? You got any ideas why? Let's see if you're right. When they had travelled far enough, Peter lifted the big pebble into the air and he threw it with all his might. Whee! Splash! Immediately, there was a big, deep rumbling sound and the boat began to rock as the waves rose higher and higher. Where did that come from? Was that his, his pebble? Was that the rock? Suddenly, out of the waves, a huge island appeared. There were jungles full of plants and palm trees, clear blue streams, waterfalls, mountains, and of course, a yellow sandy beach, just as Peter had painted on his large pebble. Ah, oh, so this was his pebble. Did you guess? That was his pebble, and he had painted the sand on it. He painted the trees and the, the was that grass, the grass and mountains? Wow. So it came to life. Do you think the animals can live there? Yeah, they can. That's a nice place to live. I wonder if they got room for me on there. As the sun came up, all of the happy animals waved goodbye to Peter as he rode his way back home. Oh, the animals did go there to live. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's their new home now. Would you like to live on an island like that? Yeah, I would, as long as there's a supermarket or something. No mosquitoes, don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> so as the sun came up, all of the animals waved goodbye to Peter as he rode his way back home. I'll visit you soon, he called. I was going to go and visit them. <gasps> as Peter reached the shore, he spotted a very strange shaped pebble. Hmm, I wonder what I can paint next, he thought. Look what pebble he found. What, what do you think he's going to paint on that one? I think he's going to paint a mouse. No, not a mouse. What do you think? What's he going to paint on this one? A worm. An ant. It's not, it's not going to be a dinosaur, is it? It is. What makes you think that? Is that going to be a dinosaur? I think you're right. Well done. <laughs> and that was a story of Peter's pebbles. So if you haven't got any pebbles now and you don't want to make them out of salt dough, wait until we're allowed out to play again. Go to the beach if you can and find some beautiful big pebbles, a nice quiet beach if you can find one and find some pebbles that you can paint or just collect. Pe pebbles are pretty. I like pebbles. That was a story. So now we are going to have a la 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 la. A song. And this song involves exercise. Are you ready? Oh, a dinosaur. A dinosaur emoji. I didn't know they had dinosaur emojis on this. <laughs> Thank you, Alex, for your dinosaur emoji. <laughs> Are you ready for a song? This song is called the... What's it called? The, <laughs> the Freeze Game Song. The Freeze Game Song. And it's by um, a company called Yo Gabba Gabba. I do not know why they're called Yo Gabba Gabba, but somehow I like the name, Yo Gabba Gabba. And these are the actions we're going to do in this song, because this song involves exercise for you. I'm going to sit down and take it easy while you do all the, the hard work, <laughs> the exercise. But I would stand up and join in, but then you'd only see my belly button, and I don't want you to say my belly button. No, I don't. But I'm going to help you do the actions while I'm sitting down. You're going to run carefully. Run carefully, very carefully. Don't bump into anything and don't fall over. And then you're going to run in a circle. And when I say freeze, you have to stop and don't move. Don't blink. Don't breathe. You can breathe. You can breathe. I'll let you breathe. And then after we do run, we're going to walk. You're going to walk and then walk in a circle. Can you walk in a circle? And then after we're going to march like soldiers, you're going to march. Then you're going to march in a circle. And then when I say freeze, you freeze. You can't move. No, you can't. And then we're going to hop. Can you hop on one leg? You can't hop on one leg. Just jump. Do little bunny hops, okay? And you're going to hop in a circle. And then you're going to freeze. <gasps> don't move. Don't move. You moved. It was me. I moved. And then you're going to skip. 
You're going to skip, skip, skip in a circle, skip in a circle, and then you're going to freeze. Don't move. Ah, you moved. I saw you. Okay. Are you ready for the freeze game? Yeah, I'm going to get DJ Shitty to help me out. You go and press that big, massive red button, the one that you can't miss. You missed it. Okay. Are you ready to do the, the freeze game? Hey everybody! Here Let's we play go. A game together. It's called the freeze game. Get your body loose. We'll Get your body ready. Around. So we're gonna run around. And when I say freeze, yeah. When I say freeze, everyone stop and hold really still. Stop and hold really still. Okay, everybody, Are stand you ready? Up. Are Come you all on, standing stand up? up and let's play. Come on! Ready? DJ Shimmy's okay. gonna help me. Everybody we're gonna run, 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 run. Run, run, run. It's fun, fun, fun. Now run in a circle. Run in a circle. Run in a circle. Run in a circle. Now freeze. Don't move. Don't you dare move. Now let's walk. Now walk. Walk, walk, walk. It's fun, fun, fun. Walk, walk, walk. It's fun, fun, fun. Walk in a circle. In a circle. Walk in a circle. Walk in a circle. Now freeze. Okay, Did everyone. you freeze? Now, let's march. now we're gonna march. March, march, march. It's fun, fun, fun. March, march, march. It's fun, fun, fun. March in a circle. March in a circle now. March in a circle. March in a circle. Now freeze. Okay. Did you everyone, freeze? Let's hop together. Hop. Can you hop? Hop, hop, hop. It's fun, fun, fun. Hop, hop, hop. It's fun, fun, fun. Hop in a circle. Hop in a circle. Hop in a circle. Hop in a circle. Now freeze. All right. Are you moving? Let's skip. Skip. Skip, skip, skip. It's fun, fun, fun. Skip, skip, skip. It's fun, fun, fun. Skip in a circle. Skip in a circle now. Skip in a circle. Skip in a circle. Now freeze. Now freeze. Now freeze. Freeze. Drop. Where did you go? Oh. <laughs> did you do that? Did you do that? Yeah. Oh, DJ Shimmy, you can get up now. Oh, he dropped and didn't get up. Yeah, you sit there. You sit next to your girlfriend. Chattanooga Choo Choo. You sit next to Chatta. <laughs> Did you like that one? Did you join in? Were you dancing? Did you freeze and you didn't move? Yeah? <laughs> so that one's by Yo Gabba Gabba. If you want to dance to that one whenever you like, the link is also in the description for that song. It's on YouTube. So, I have a riddle for you. And then we are going to do the goodbye song. Ah, oh, before I go, always forget, if anyone's new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I always forget to say that. I don't really like saying that, but I say it anyway. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Everyone says that, don't they? Um, a riddle. Are you ready for a riddle? Um, where's my riddle? Oh, I'm going to do this one. Let's see if you guys know the answer to this riddle. What gets big? And bigger, the more you remove from it. So the more you take away from this thing, it gets bigger and bigger. How could that be? For example, if I had a mountain and I kept taking away bits of the mountain, it would get smaller, wouldn't it? But this thing, the more I take away, the bigger it gets. What could that be? I don't know. Do you know? I better look at the answer. I looked, I looked at the answer. I'm going to see if anyone can tell me what gets bigger and bigger the more you remove and take away from it. No, it's not easy peasy lemon squeezy. Put that down. <laughs> a stack, a stack, a stack. No, it's not a stack. <laughs> Alex said a stack. Well done for having a guess. Is anyone, let me see if anyone's saying the answer. Is anyone saying the answer? No Googling. Use your noodle. No Google. 
And don't ask Alexa. I wonder if Alexa knows. Ask Alexa. See if Alexa knows. <gasps> what does that say? Again, please. Oh, again, please. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Well done for having a go at spelling. I know exactly what you mean now. Again, please. Don't want me to say that again. What gets bigger and bigger the more you take away from it? The song. Oh, the song. You want me to? <laughs> Carolina Valentina, I'm so sorry. You asked for the song again. Oh, I'm, I'm... does anyone else want the song again? If anyone wants a song again, you guys got so much energy. I thought I tired you out. If anyone wants a song again, just let me know. And then we'll do the song again and then we'll do the goodbye song. But I'm going to, you don't know the answer to my riddle. <laughs> and I know the answer because I looked. What gets bigger and bigger the more you take away from it? A hole. Yes. So if you dig a hole, you're taking away bits of the, the mud, the earth, and the hole is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, isn't it? So a hole gets bigger the more you take away from it. <laughs> Who wants to do the song again? Should we do it with chatter? Chatter, chatter, no, choo What do you want now? I was just going to make some cupcakes. You can make cupcakes after. Make me one. Make me a big one, please. A big, big one with icing and a cherry on the top. Oh, you're so greedy. <gasps> Not greedy. I, I just like cakes. Don't eat them every day. Every other day I eat them. Okay, so I want you to see if you can press the big red button. Can you do that? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah. So are you ready to do the song again? What do we have to do? We're going to stand up. We're going to run, we're going to walk, we're going to march and hop and skip. Can you do that? You've got energy left, yeah? Okay. Oh, you did press the button. You're ready. You're, you're more ready than what I am. Okay. Let's play a game together. So, here we go. It's called the freeze game. The freeze game. game. First, we'll all run around. We're going to run around the big pink button. When it's I red. Say freeze. It's actually blue, actually. I don't want to stop and hold really still. Okay, so you're gonna pop, you're gonna stand, stand still when I say Come stop. On, stand up and let's play. Are you standing up? Ready? What we're gonna do? Okay. We're gonna run, run carefully. Run, run, run. It's fun, fun, fun. Run, run, run. It's fun, fun, fun. Run in a circle. Run in a circle now. Run in a circle. Run in a circle now. Freeze. Nice job. Now let's walk. Now you're gonna walk. Walk, walk, walk. It's fun, fun, fun. Walk, walk, walk. It's fun, fun, fun. Walk in a circle. Walk in a circle now. Walk in a circle. Walk in a circle. Now freeze. Okay. Did you freeze? Now let's march. March, march, march. It's fun, fun, fun. March, march, march. It's fun, fun, fun. March in a circle. March in a circle now. March in a circle. March in a circle. Now freeze. Okay. Now okay. Everyone, let's hop together. Hop. Hop, hop, hop. It's fun, fun, fun. Hop, hop, hop. It's fun, fun, fun. Hop in a circle. Hop in a circle now. Hop in a circle. Hop in a circle. Now freeze. All right, last one. Last one. We're gonna skip. Skip, skip, skip. It's fun, fun, fun. Skip, skip, skip. It's fun, fun, fun. Hey, ready? Skip in a circle. Skip in a circle now. Skip in a circle. Skip in a circle. Now freeze. Now freeze. Now freeze. Freeze. Drop. Where did she go? Where did you go? She's gone. Oh. Did you like that one? You guys have got so much energy. Have you got enough energy for the goodbye song? I have. Oh, you have. And I see your hands. I'm going to say goodbye to everyone on the planet. Yeah, really loud. So loud that your parents say, Not so loud. Okay, that loud. So, Chatter, I need you to go over there. Oh, always bossing me around. I'm, no, I'm just asking you to help me out. Can't do it all by myself, can I? Well, I could, but, but 
I like to have some help sometimes. Okay, we're going to say bye-bye, girls and boys. And bye-bye, everyone. Are you ready? Bye-bye, girls and boys. Bye-bye, girls and boys. Bye-bye, girls and boys. Bye-bye, everyone. And we say, see you next time. Yeah? See you next time. See you next time. See you next time. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, everyone. And before I go, this is very not like me. Not like me at all. I forgot something. Who knows what I forgot? <laughs> I've just remembered that I forgot. So I forgot that I remembered and now I remember that I forgot. I forgot. No, don't say goodbye yet because I forgot something. This is not like me. I never forget. I'm like an elephant. I mean, I don't look like an elephant. Me elephants never forget. They have good memories. An elephant! I forgot to tell you the book we're going to have tomorrow. It's called Billy's Elephant. That's not an elephant. That's an elephant. This is an elephant. It's called Billy's Beetle. Billy's Beetle. What is a little beetle? A beetle. Where is the beetle? The tiny, tiny little bug. It's on the back of the polar bear and he can't see it. And there's a little boy called Billy and he loses his beetle. Billy has lost his beetle. Who will be the one to find it? Not going to be me. I'm not picking up a beetle. I'm scared of beetles. No, I'm not. Well, I am, but I'm not. Okay. I'm not, not scared of beetles. Don't show me a beetle because I'm not scared of beetles. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye for real now. So bye-bye to all you at home. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're around tomorrow, you're going to hear this story. And if you're not around tomorrow at 11 o'clock Spanish time, the story, <laughs> this video will stay on my YouTube channel so you can watch it anytime you like. Lots of love. I will see you tomorrow. Love, Cheryl. Bye-bye. You go and have yourself a lovely day. Yeah? Bye-bye.